Yo, I'm seriously trying to figure out why anyone would still live in the U.S. See, I'm U.S. born and raised. Been living in the U.S. my whole life. I left 70 years ago, and I would never go back. I have zero desire to go back there. And for context, I'll show you in this video why. And I'm going to show you the rest of my living space and then I'll tell you my total living expenses out here. So I'm currently living in the Philippines. Again, this is the cool area. Been living here for about one year. This is Manila, Philippines. I have like a lap pool out here too. And a tanning area back there, I'll show you real quick. Just absolutely insane value. like the tanning area so right above the pool here we have a sauna uh, or actually a uh, what is this called spa okay so actually we have a spa here massage there's the lap pool and it comes with a gym over here at the little lounge area. This is the view, absolutely insane. And then there's a, that's actually a fitness center. I'm not gonna open it and like annoy people in there in the gym, but yeah, that's a gym, pretty nice gym. So this is my humble abode. Um, I guess it's like mid-tier unit, uh, loft type, pretty dirty, so I won't show you up there. Balcony, fairly uh, nice view out here. It's Makati. It's like this is the best part. These are the elevators, my floor. And let's like go down. Second floor access to an attached mole. Just walk through here. It's like mall entrance. little uh, courtyard out here like direct access into a mall literally don't even have to leave my building to do anything like my life is so streamlined it's kind of a small mall but it has barber um, grocery store. I'll show you all the amenities. Starbucks. So I just go up here. So third floor. I'd say I have like a movie theater. Got like popcorn. And then um, barber. Literally like a haircut uh, barber place right here attached to where I live. Starbucks. Actually I have like a food market. Korean restaurants, food market. So just like walk down here, get groceries whenever. Oh, Belgian waffles for some reason. Nina's favorite, right? <laughs> Another thing we got here is a dental clinic. 
So I just walk downstairs whenever I need to go to the dentist. This is probably the best part for me personally. 24 hour gym. I like to come up here at night when no one's here. It's like having my own full private gym. So yeah, just walk in here whenever. This is also in the mall, just on the uh, top floor here. And here we have the executive suite. Here we got a uh, game room, some pool, poker table, cards, uh, I think a dartboard back there, and uh, like five PlayStations in here with their own TVs. conference room in a lounge oh so this is the movie theater so here's the kicker guys this cost me seven hundred and fifty dollars a month that's my rent um and actually i live on a budget of around two thousand five hundred dollars Sometimes I go a bit over that, sometimes I spend a bit under, but the average is out to around 2,500. I mean, what would something like this cost in New York? Imagine like in Manhattan City. I'm in a major business district here. Imagine if I'm in Manhattan, uh, trying to buy something like this or rent something like this, $5,000 minimum. Now I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it and tell you that, you know, everything's perfect. There are issues. Um, Food quality is a big one for me. Pollution, I worry about pollution. Um, there's quite a bit of cockroaches. It's probably not as clean as both of your major cities in the US. But again, I'm paying like less than half. I have these amazing amenities. And let's just put it this way. If I'm out in the US, I mean, you guys are worried about getting shot and stepping on needles. I'm out here worrying about food quality and um, cockroaches so and paying less than camp it, it pales in comparison so anyway why am i telling you all of this is just just to stroke my ego and show you how amazing my life is well yeah probably a bit but actually i want to be a voice reason here you know um i'm sitting here i'm watching the u.s just essentially crumble from from my standpoint a lot of issues you're facing a lot of issues you're paying so much to live in what appears to be a country in dismay right now this is all just a flight away come out here live an amazing life why would you stay in the u.s if you don't have to